The 2020 Edelman Trust Barometer has revealed that of the four mainstream institutions of government, business, media, and non-governmental organizations, government remains the least trusted, with Nigerians having no confidence in the ability of current leaders to address the country's challenges successfully. Joining us live is Israel Okbayemi, MD, Chief Strategist, Chain Reactions. Thank you for joining us, sir. For having me. Why did you undertake such a massive project as a survey you con uh, conducted? Well, um, let me clarify that this is not just chain reactions undertaking okay. this. This has been, this is a survey that has been in existence for 20 years. For 20 years now, uh, our partners in Edelman, uh, through the Edelman Intelligence, uh, have been researching into trust and credibility for, for 20 years now and publishing the report. But from 2017, we here in Chain Reactions Nigeria, because we are the Nigerian affiliate to Edelman, decided that this, this survey report would be beneficial to the Nigerian market. And so we started um, unveiling this report in Nigeria. But from 2018, we then started generating country-specific data for Nigeria. So in other words, from 2018, we started surveying Nigerians to find out how well they trust government non-governmental organizations, business, and indeed uh, the media. And the, the, the insights have been quite remarkable year on year since we started. Okay, interesting. And now you're talking about insights. Um, from the, the last one that you know, you've conducted, were there any surprises? Well, no surprises, I, I, I should say. No surprises um, because uh, we are not even very sure that government is paying attention to the the assets of reputation, the way we are seeing governmental institutions in other clients pay attention. Um, we're, we're not very sure government is paying attention. But however, we're seeing uh, significant interest amongst non-state actors um, such as businesses Every year since 2017, we have gotten invitations from one corporate organization or the other saying, send us this report. We would like to know what this report means, you know, for us. Um, so no surprises at all. Okay. And then and what countries would you say have demonstrated a capacity for utilizing these trust indices to the advantage? Well, I, I, I would say that when, when you look at the way countries like um, Singapore, um, you know, and um, maybe to, to, to an extent, the, the, the Netherlands and, you know, have, have responded in terms of taking a look at this, this report year on year when it is released, um, you will see a remarkable, you know, the difference. That doesn't necessarily mean that these countries have done, um, you know, phenomenally well in terms of in, in terms of uh, their, their trust you know, quotient. But it simply means that they have been, they have at least been meticulous in looking at what this, what this report, what these reports are saying year on year, and then they are making efforts to, to, to improve on them. We haven't gotten any invitation from even the Nigerian government to say, hey guys, what are you, what is this whole thing about? Um, can you please you know, speak to us and let's see you know, how we can improve on uh, in the management, the management of our trust. Yeah. So we haven't seen seen that yet. I mean, that, and that's different from what you know we are beginning to see in other clients. And, and, so no surprises. Yeah, and, and looking at Nigeria, do you see um, a way forward in terms of uh, productively utilizing the data? For example, your data shows that CEOs are the most trusted. How does this become the basis of a progressive policy in any way to benefit the nation? Well, absolutely, beyond the, the realm of, of, of data, you know, uh, is telling us that Nigerians seem to have more confidence in CEOs than 
in our current, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, governmental, you know, uh, you know leaders, mm. are that if CEOs step into the in, into the arena in terms of some kind of progressive solutions to uh, the various issues, the various challenges we are having, whether in the form of thought leadership, whether in the form of um, you know serving in in, in in committees, as we have seen in in, in other countries where private sector leaders actually come forward to say, here is the solution. Of course, we, we are not, we're, we're not mindful of the fact that you also need a government that is willing to listen because it is one thing for these CEOs to step forward and offer solutions. It's another thing for government to be receptive of those solutions. But that's what, that's what, the, that's what the research is telling us, that Nigerians have more confidence in CEOs to be able to provide solutions to the media pro of problems confronting our, our society today. Very brilliant. Um, Israel Okbayemi, thank you so much for the research. And of course, thank you for having this conversation with us. Um, we would look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Thank you for having me.